Welcome to the third part of the Bushcraft Joinery videos. In this one, we're going to show you probably the best you're going to get in joining two logs together out in the bush. It does, however, require that you have a few more tools, a little more patience, and a little more attention to detail. So, why don't you join me, and I will show you the steps to making a very solid joint between two logs. This time we're going to use a little smaller set of logs and we're going to join them together and we're going to see if we can get them so they don't move at all or if they do very little when it comes to racking. I want them to fit down tight to each other but I don't want a lot of movement. So one of the things you're going to need is something to measure with. I'm going to use my tape measure and it looks like I've got a maximum of a two inch wide log here so I'm going to go with inch and a half and this is going to require that I cut an inch and a half this way and this way. This takes a lot of care because you're going to need to cut the sides and the bottom and the sides and the bottom on the other log so that everything fits snugly. Okay now that I've cut it an inch and a half wide it's a little wider on this side but I can always chisel a little more out but I can never add any back. So I left it a little wide there but this is my narrow spot. That's the width I'm going to cut the notch in the other log. So I'm going to go ahead and mark the other log. I'm going to hold this on here. Oh, and I also measured the width of this log. It's an inch and a half so that I'm going to do on it as well. So I'm going to have right there and right there. And that should be about an inch and a half. So let's see how that worked out. That is an inch and a half. So now I've got to cut with my saw down in here really don't want to use a power saw on this because you get you'll cut too far you get it in the wrong place and this gives you just a little more control it's pretty close so let's chisel that out and then this should fit down in there pretty tightly now I've got to cut a notch out here to correspond to this notch and we'll see how it works We'll get the chisel, bump this out of here, like that, and then this should fit in here. And it does. The only problem is, now we're running into the sides here, so now we have to notch these sides. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we've got to make these laps here fit. One of these has to get cut back farther. Cut in at a, about a 45 degree angle. Like that. It'll become quite obvious to you where the, the cuts have to be made when you go to put these together. See how that fits. You just got to keep test fitting in here because you know there's a little bit to it just keep test fit and you'll know when it's right. Let's try that. Oh, a nice tight fit. Well, that doesn't even have a bolt in it. Look how solid that is. As you can see with this one, there is just no movement. All there is is flex in the wood. And that's because everything is airtight, basically solid, and built kind of like a little wedge. So the tighter you make this joint, the tighter it gets and the more stable it gets. The, a very stable, a little higher tack. It'll take some practice to get good at it. But like anything, if it's worth doing, it's worth doing right. 
And if you just keep practicing your bush skills, you're going to get better. Well, I hope this series helped you out. So let's do a quick review of the three different types. Well, we started out with a basic lap joint. And you notice that it holds, but there's no rack resistance whatsoever. This thing will just spin almost all the way around, barely impeded. All your racking strength depends and relies on whatever you use to hold the logs together, be it cordage, a bolt, what have you, nails, whatever you have at your disposal, that's what's going to keep these from racking. But on the bright side, it doesn't take hardly any tools. Next, we use the simple lap joint. It's just roughly notched so that you know the log will fit in there. It does have some racking, but it does run into this part right here, these notches, and it is a lot more stable than the last one. Just basic tools are needed, a bush saw and a knife and something to hammer on the knife with. And, and you can do this with cordage, with a bolt, with a nail, with uh, root cordage or bark cordage, whatever you are using. And this will be a little more stable, a little more permanent. Last but not least is this one. This is the wedge fit, uh, very tight tolerance, very stable, a little higher tech, a little more tools, a little more knowledge of how to work with wood, but definitely worth the practice and learning to do it. Well, I hope this has really helped you out in your bushcraft skills. If so, you know, like and subscribe, maybe even, uh, you know, let me know in the comments what you think of this. You have a nice day and thanks for watching.